Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining us here. It's a little Christmassy one today. I am later today putting the tree up on the Christmas decorations but I first wanted to show you a few bits and pieces in a little bit more detail so that when I do dress the tree and stuff um, it's not an hour long because if we all know putting the tree up can take time, some serious time. Um, but yes, I have got down here boxes and boxes of Christmas bits and yeah I wanted to show you some few bits that I have got in my collection. These are mainly Christmas trees and garlands but these are what I wanted to show and they are something that I am proud of that, that I have. They aren't necessarily modern decorations although actually I have noticed this season there is a lot more uh, traditional looking decorations about and reds back in a lot this year and these actually are my late grandma's Christmas decorations. Sorry I'm getting emotional. I do every year getting these out um, but I love that I have them. I loved them as a child. Um, some of them don't now necessarily work or I've got tiny bits broken on them um, because of they are old. But yeah, let's um, let's get into it and show you what we've got. This one is actually upside down. I've just taken the lid off, so I'm going to flip this over. She used to get these. These are the type of things that you oh, there's see another bit. It's broken. I might see if I can glue that back in. But this is what I mean. They're just the glues getting fragile and stuff. But yeah. These are the things that you would see in the magazines and stuff um, and she would buy them and this one has did have lights in it um, in the little lights here they would all light up and this one too it's got a little LED in it but they don't work at the moment oh they don't work that's full stop but this is absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very heavy. I don't know where I'm going to be putting these things in the new house. Let's have a look in the next one. I'm not sure what this one, this one is. But we do have a few. Ah, this one is actually, again, upside down. Means I've been storing them upside down. Is a version of this little house here. Are we ready? So this is the little house, if we look it's got Santa Claus in there, there's a little family living in the living room, then we have a little children's bedroom in there and another bedroom with children in and then Santa in the attic and his reindeers. This one lit up and I'm not sure if this one still works actually. I'm going to get the batteries out and try them all for you but this one actually sung a song and the rooms would light up individually um, but yeah it's absolutely gorgeous and I need to find a home for them I'm not sure so let's unwrap the next one just got this one out of the box I've not completely unwrapped it yet but I found this this is a deed of ownership and transfer and it's actually got my grandma's name on it and signature and the date she bought it, the 8th of the 12th, 2007. Oh God. This one, again, I don't think works any longer. It's actually lost a bit of track around here where it got knocked and broken. But it has a little, let's see if we can get him on there. Um, so it's got little Santa and his reindeers. Oh, it looks like we've lost a reindeer and a head. They are in polystyrene boxes. I really don't know how they get damaged. I really don't. But this has, the train doesn't move on the top, but the trains on the bottom levels would go round and sing a song as well. But yeah, I am going to try. And I think this would move as well. I'm not quite sure if it did or not. Um, but the star lit up, but yeah, I'm going to uh, see if I can put some batteries in and see if we can get any work in. <sighs> this one is just a little one that, oh, this one has a, um, this isn't meant, to, is this meant to be in here? Oh, yes, it is. So this is a little church scene. Now, somewhere 
around is some little people that would stand on the bottom. Um, I don't know if I got this one out last year, which is probably why I didn't have room probably. Um, but yeah, I will plug this in and see if this can, 2006 this was made. But yeah, so these are my grandma's ornaments um, that I absolutely love. And hopefully I can make a little display with them somewhere. So onto these boxes, which is mainly trees and garlands. So let me get them open and then we can dive right in. So I've pulled everything out and I've kind of sorted them a little bit. This bag here, so I can get rid of it, is literally bags of snow that I either got down when they was knocked down in price um, at the end of Christmas or when Palm World closed because they had everything knocked down now. I think, go on your own. Um, these smaller cans I actually have more in the bigger cans. These are for my tree and garland. As you can see, slightly obviously it's come off since last year, but I sprayed my tree and my garland with snow spray, so they was white. So this is this has obviously got my garland in, and it's got the lights entwined in it. So I will sort that out. Oh, we have lights coming from. I wonder if this is a power bank on this side. I'm not sure. Oh, everything is all tangled up, as per usual when you get Christmas decorations out. So, in this box I have, last year I had white, silver and like pink, but obviously this year we have purple in here and I'm not sure where the pink and purple go. I can't find any purple baubles, so I'm tempted just to do it pink and white and see what it looks like. But we have lots of bits and pieces. These are recent bits that I picked up that was. I picked up, I thought I had some more of these, but these were from Palm World last year. They're like glass drop icicles. They're the ones from last year. You can see them a bit clearly. They've literally got like little bits stuck to them, but they are, but focus, they are glass. And then we have things like these that I got in the sale last year. They're little like Christmas tags. Let's move these baubles out of the way. We have little birdies. We have um, reindeers. God, I couldn't think then. Angels. In fact, I have got some, yeah, these bigger white angel wings that have got like feathers on them. I've got quite a few of those. Um, there is silver stars. There's not just baubles, but what else have we got in here? Let's have a dig. Um, there's little white icicles. There's bells, we've got some little penguins, we've got two now, they've got, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, we've got a his and a her. <laughs> um, what else is in here? There's more reindeers. These are picked up last year, but I'm not sure it's for sure on them, they're like soft, squidgy ones. Um, this is for Dean, we saw this. And it's a camper van, so this is the only coloured thing that goes on the tree. It's a bit of a tradition we started last year. Um, I've picked these up last year before it, um, when Christmas had finished. Um, maybe it's cold outside. So I have a massive thing of baubles. This is literally just full of silver, white, pink baubles. I've got the purple ones and I'm actually putting them next to the pink and I quite like it, so I might add purple and a little bit of pink like Pacific ones maybe just like the glittery ones I do have some that are more rose gold colour so maybe purple and rose gold I'm not sure I picked these up in the sale last year these have got silver white and like a pink colour in them and what else have we got lots and lots and lots and lots of sets of lights oh you've seen these in a haul these are actually still in home bargains they're two little birdies um, this box pack here and this mountain of coloured tinsel is actually for, last year we did the kids, I have a smaller tree and we did the kids, see there's bits mixed up, these little snowflakes are meant to be in the other box, um, I did a kids tree for the boys but this year I'm thinking of putting it back into the entry but it's got like red and grey accessories this one, um, we've got things like, you can't really see, is actually from Disney World, so that snowflake's not meant to be there. Um, we've got big red baubles. In fact, there's a Disney bauble in here somewhere. We've got like traditional looking 
Um, here's the Disney bauble from Disney World when we went there. But yeah, there's lots more traditionally bits in here. Um, things that have been bought for me. I love Eeyore. Um, little one that's got Dylan's name in it. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to decorate the tree just out there. Um, but I'm thinking if I do this kind of bit on the tree and these bits may sit out there somewhere. So it's kind of like um, a more traditional look out there and then my whites and stuff and lights in here with my garlands and stuff. Um, we are getting a new sofa so things will move around before Christmas Day. But I'm not quite sure. I think I'm going to move this out of here, move the cabinet along. This, I'll stand back so you can see. This just moves slightly over so that the tree can go in that corner. It's quite a big tree, I think. I think it's about six and a half foot, I think it is. And then obviously we've got these few bits that are already out. These stags and Xmas and this little dreaming of a white Christmas. Oh, a white Christmas would be heaven to me. Um, but yes, so that is everything I have, I think. I'm going to, whatever's left, I bought this from Pound World. I was going to buy a metal one, but then I saw, that if you're going to glue it on the metal one, I thought, well, I can glue it onto this. So whatever baubles are left and that I don't think I'm going to need, I'm going to make a wreath for the front door. Um, but yeah. I love getting my grandma's decorations out. It makes me smile. Her Christmas card is somewhere. In fact, it is probably inside the Christmas tree box because that's where I kind of keep it. Um, yeah, not going to get emotional on video. So if you would like to see the finish, finished product of everything up and ready, check out the next video that will be up in Mr. Day. So like two days, if that makes sense, because I'm going to do videos every other day and there will be lots of things to come throughout December. So stick around, hit that subscribe button and we shall see you soon.